We flock to well-known sites every year to see works of art by the great masters of the Renaissance. And one of the most popular is the School of Athens by Raphael in the Stanza della Senatura in the Vatican. But do we just go to look to tick it off a checklist? And do we even know what we're looking at? We see figures of the ancient pagan past that are no longer relevant to us today. Or perhaps they are. The power of great art, no matter how old or what it shows, is its ability to connect to us today and how it lives on in our mind and imagination. The School of Athens was begun when Raphael was just 25 years old and really epitomises the Renaissance. The two central figures, Plato and Aristotle, present two different aspects of philosophy and discussion. But they are not at war with each other. Instead, they mutually informed each other at this time. Aristotle points to the ground, concerned with earthly matter and sense perception, and Plato points to the heavens, to the immortality of the human soul, which it was believed dwelled in the body, and of his philosophy of reality being beyond the world of the seen. The word Renaissance literally translates as rebirth, but Renaissance art served a purpose of not just producing Greek and Roman inspired paintings and statues that looked beautiful or harmonious, they were created to bring into a visual articulated form hidden aspects of consciousness and the cosmos, to inspire wisdom enriched conversations, to awaken the viewer to multiple layers of seeing and meaning and knowing, which are usually concealed by rational approaches. Can works of art such as this still work their magic and open our eyes and consciousness to seeing with greater depth and breadth. Share your views about this work of art in our private Facebook group. Just follow the link here.